Hello everyone. Welcome to my second tutorial. Today I will be showing you guys how to enable the developer console and developer camera for your truck simulator 2. First thing you're going to want to do is open up your Windows Explorer. From here, you're going to navigate yourself to your My Documents, your Truck Simulator 2 directory. Once here, you are looking for a file. The file is called config. It is a .cfg file. If you have never opened a .cfg file before, it will be an unrecognized file type. Right click the file and hit open with. There will most likely be no recommended programs, so you're going to have to manually search for either WordPad or Notepad. I assume Word would also work, however my personal favorite is Notepad. Open the file up in Notepad. You'll be faced with a whole page worth of uh, nonsense, really. In here, you are looking for two lines in particular. First line you're going to want, it's fairly close to the bottom, is U set G underscore console. At the end of that, you'll see two quotation marks with a value of zero in between them. You want to edit this value and change it to one. That is changing from the zero, which is false, to one, which is true. This enables the developer's console in game. It is also worth taking note while you're doing this, you cannot be running the application. You've got to make sure you have closed out of your truck simulator before you start this. The second entry you're looking for is um, uset g underscore developer. Same thing, you just want to change the zeros to ones. I have already done so, as I'm sure many of you already know. must be careful that you do not edit this file in any other way. You cannot delete a single space or a single quotation. It will not work if you modify the file in any other way other than changing the zeros to ones. So be very precise when doing so. You're going to exit out and it's going to ask you if you want to save your changes you are going to want to save your changes so that these carry over when you start up the game next. If everything was done correctly, all we should need to do is um, start up the application. I'll be starting Eurotruck Simulator 2 in the single player version to demonstrate the full working effect and features of the console and camera. The entirety of the console and camera does work in the multiplayer, with the small exception of being unable to place your truck once in the developer camera. Now that we've signed in to our Euro Truck Simulator 2 multiplayer profile, you should be able to hit your tilde key. Now, your tilde key is the key that is located above tab and to the left of your one key directly under the escape key. Pressing that should give you the console here. This console has all kinds of different uses. You can type in almost any command in here to modify game settings and files such as forcing economy resets which is useful for finding jobs changing fly speed, which is useful for when you're using the developer camera over a long distance. The second feature that we've enabled here, the developer feature, is triggered by pressing zero. So that's going to be across from your tilde key, right beside the nine. Pressing that will take you out into the developer camera. When you press it immediately, you will be at the center point of your truck 
just underneath of it. You need a numpad to move yourself around in this camera mode. Use your numpad like you would use um, your W, A, S, and D keys. On the numpad, you're going to be using keys 8, 4, 5, and 6. And that'll move you around. Keys 9 and 3 will move your elevation. And then 4 for left, 6 for right, 5 backwards, 8 forwards. You can use your mouse to control your view as well. If you are unsatisfied with the speed at which your camera is moving, you can type into the console G underscore fly speed, or one word, 300. Now 300 will send you flying very fast. This is good for getting around the map from town to town and location to location if you're traveling a far distance. However, if you want to be precise and spawn yourself in a specific location, I recommend changing your fly speed to 30. You can then move very slowly and precisely and place your truck where you want to be. For example, this shoulder. To place your truck, if you press F9, you'll notice your truck just kind of drops down from outer space and is in your current location now. This is very useful for getting yourself to and from trailer pickup locations and to and from convoy starting locations. Again, as I was saying earlier, the feature of placing your truck like you just saw me do only works in single player. You cannot do that in multiplayer, so do keep that in mind when you are trying to use it. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Thanks for watching.